In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to use the new Bevel plugin from Mindside Studios for SketchUp. Let's go. All right. So the first step you need to do is go to the link in the description and click on buy now or you can click on a order free 15 day trial. Click on accept. Then you can click on checkout. Now let's add in our details. Click on next and then click on submit order. So now you should receive an email with the instructions to download and install the plugin. So you can see we have the trial license. So let's click on go to my purchase and then click on continue to download the Bevel plugin. All right, so once it's installed, you can open SketchUp, go to extensions, extension manager, click on install extension, select the RBZ file and click on open. So this should install the plugin and if it doesn't show up, you can go to view toolbars and now you can notice that we have the Bevel plugin installed. So now when you click any of these icons for the first time, you'll be asked to add a valid license. So press OK, click on add license, add in your email and copy the license key to the SketchUp application. Click on activate license. And now your license should be valid for 15 days. All right, so let's learn how to use the Bevel tool. Let's click on the Bevel tool from your toolbar here. Now, when you hover over an edge, it is pretty smart and it will select the appropriate edge. If you hover over the face, it will select all four edges. If you hover over a particular edge, it will select only that edge. And if you hover over the vertex here, it will select all the three connected edges. Now I'm happy with this, so I'm going to click here. Now if you want to add to the selection, you can hold down control on your keyboard. Then go ahead and add to the selection. It's option for Mac. And if you want to deselect, you can hold control shift. And then you can deselect. So all the red lines means that you want to deselect particular edges. And the green line means that you want to add to the selection. So once you've selected all the edges, then you need to click the second time to specify the offset reference point. So basically from where you want to offset it. So I'm going to offset it from here. And then you can either add the distance or you can click to create the bevel. So I'm going to add the distance. So let's say about 100 mm and tap enter. So this will create a nice cool bevel for your cube. Now let's say you want to apply the same 100 mm bevel on the other cubes as well. You can do so. And you can also pre-select a particular edge and then apply the bevel. So I'm going to select all the edges here, then click on the bevel tool. And then if I double click on the edge here, it will apply the bevel from the previous cube, which was about 100 mm. So again, let's click here and then double click on that edge and then it will apply the previous. So you can apply bevel pretty fast as well. You can also increase or decrease the number of segments in a bevel. Now, for example, if I apply a bevel here, click the second time to apply the reference point and then you can click the third time. Now you can see that it's applied the bevel. Let's go to view hidden geometry. These are the number of segments that this bevel has. If you want to increase or decrease the number of segments, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. So if I tap the down arrow key, you can see the number of segments reduces all the way to one. And you can also increase the number of segments all the way to 24. So right now the software has capped the number of segments to 24 because if you increase it a bit much higher then it would lag the software and it would probably give you a SketchUp bug splat as well. So it was pretty smart for the developers to cap the number of segments at 24. So go ahead and try to use the bevel tool. You just need to activate it, select the edges, click the second time to select the offset reference point. So this face here and then click the third time to apply your bevel. So it's a pretty cool tool and it helps you create bevels faster. Now one last thing I would like to show you in case you've sort of applied a bevel here, selected the offset distance and you want to deselect a particular edge. Then you can tap escape once and then press control shift, deselect particular edges and then again select the offset reference point and then 
create a bevel that way as well. So the bevel tool is pretty versatile too. Now I'm going to show you the new live bevel feature in the bevel plugin. And this is where this plugin truly shines for SketchUp. Now it only works for groups and components. So if I select the spaces and edges and click on that option there, which is live bevel, doesn't work. So make sure you make this a group and then select the live bevel feature. Now this works in a non-destructive way, which means you can increase the offset, reduce the offset. You can use the plus minus here as well to increase or reduce the offset. And you can also increase or reduce the number of segments here as well. Now, if you want to arbitrarily do it, you can do that as well. Just click on edge offset and then you can select any of these edges and then arbitrarily create that offset or bevel. You can also see the preview in both proxy, which is its original form as shown, or you can only see the bevel. You can see we can only see the bevel. Or you can also click on both, which will show the bounding box and the bevel as well. Finally, we have the bevel surface opacity, which will let you see the backside faces of the object. We also have something called smooth bevel borders. Now I generally leave this on. Sometimes when you leave this on, it will create artifacts in shading when you create a bevel, but those are for more complex shapes. Now, if you want to remove those artifacts, artifacts, you can switch this off and click on commit. Now, the best part about this workflow is that you don't have to click on commit. Let's say, for example, I make some changes to the shape. I'm going to use the push pull tool and move it up. You can see that the bevel adjusts automatically. I can also create lines in between. So, for example, if I go to proxy mode and create some lines here and push them out as shown and then go back to both, you can see that it automatically bevels out the faces and edges, which is super cool. Now, if you click on commit, then it will apply the changes on this model and you will not be able to make any more adjustments. So once you've done making the final adjustment, you can click on commit. So as you can see now, we've added the bevel for our face. What I'd also like to mention is that if you want to revert back to the original form and remove the bevel, you can do so as well, but you cannot do it after you've committed changes. So in this case, you will have to undo and then remove the bevel, but you haven't committed the bevel. For example, in this case, so if I double click that group, you can see that I have not committed it. So now if I click on remove, then it will remove all the bevel edges in that group. Now let's check out some other features that Bevel tool has to off offer as well. Now we have something called Auto Smooth here and Auto Soften Edges. This works similar to the Soften Edges command in SketchUp, but it works much better. Now, for example, if I enter or select all these faces and edges and click on Auto Smooth, then it would smoothen out that faces and edges. It also has some settings. So if I click on settings here, let me just undo. Now, if you set this at one, select all the faces and edges and click on auto smooth, then the edges come back. And if you keep increasing the angle, for example, if I set it to 15, then select the faces and edges and click on auto smooth. Now you can see that it smoothens it out depending on the angle. So 30 works well in most cases and you can leave it at the default. So let's select all of it and click on auto smooth. Now, in case you have certain lines that you'd like to remove, you can use the clean lines feature in Bevel or clean edges that is to remove all these extra edges. So select all the faces and edges and click on clean edges and that would remove any additional lines in your group. All right, so that's how you use the Bevel plugin for SketchUp. There is a 20% early adopter discount for the plugin. I will be creating more tutorials, but in the future tutorials, I will be using the Bevel plugin to model certain objects, like say, for example, a Rubik's Cube, a Dice, and a whole lot more. So go ahead, test it out, and if you like the plugin, do purchase it as well. You'll get a discount. So make sure to buy it as soon as possible. You'll find the link in the description, and it's an affiliate link. So if you use my link, you would be supporting the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the future videos. Please do like and subscribe, SketchUp Guru. Take care. Cheers.